Jimmy, check that one, will ya? Jimmy, you there? Jimmy! No, they were wearing a mask. There's no gun with him. What did they steal? The Pizarro painting. We're trying to mill it. Hello, oh, how are you doing, Mr. Roos? Donuts. FBI. Heard about the painting? The soldier thing? Yeah, I've heard Have you found anything? You happen to have security footage of last night. Well, of course you do. The Pizarro was the most valuable piece we had. We'll deliver it to you right away. Thank you. We have to move fast. If we have any hope of catching this man or the painting, why would you say that? Because of the provenance. The provenance? They have to kill the pattern of terrorists to do it or the vaccine before. So, what happened, guys? A painting was stolen last night. Name with the Pizarro? I'm sorry? At the Royal Museum. They were in and out. Less than six minutes. So we got MO's names and you know, a couple of art pieces. Can you figure that out? Maybe um, by using quadratic discriminant analysis. Ah, right, right. We can look for a set of data that matches with a new set of data. Then we can compile. Good. In this case, identifying a variable of particular theft. Why not? Look, there is a painting stolen from a museum. There must be something attractive to the thief. Right. Look, in a field of flowers, there are certain type of flowers that attracts a certain type of insects. It's the same like this. There are certain types of thief that are attracted to a certain type of targets. Now, by using quadratic discriminant analysis, we can easily find out who the thief is. All right. You know? Seems that I've come to the right place. Mm. So, mm. just easily look. Yeah. Yeah. And so you guys, you better listen. I might have a suspect here. Eight years ago, Miss Erica Heldman, she claimed that Pizarro had been looted by the terrorists. And then she sued the owner. Hey, didn't she make it? But in the end, she lost. Yes, but my sister is the only living witness to see the Pissarro hanging in our father's room. Oh, look, I'm gonna have to take a look at your phone and your phone. Of course. Maybe with your consent. Maybe you'd like to take a painting. Oh, please. I did not steal the Pissarro. Surely you can understand this. I swear. Don, what's up? So, Eric claims he she didn't steal it. But we don't know if it's the truth. Do you still have any suspects left? Actually, I do. I, I got three. First one is Michael Ness. Michael Ness is the first one, maybe. And second one is Ben Larkin. See, Michael Ness, Ben Larkin. Yeah, yeah. And the third one is Ronald Wheeler. But then, however, Michael Ness is in prison in Turkey. So I think he cannot be the suspect. And Larkin, however, was murdered three years ago. That leaves Wheeler. Wheeler has a current address in Toronto. So according to the database, but Homeland Security has no record of Wheeler entering the country. You see? Well, uh, it looks like he'll be traveling on a f uh, false passport. Spread out as fast as possible. Sorry, it's not unusual. I mean, she's the only thing that's left from her family. I guess the federal court didn't see it that way though. This, Mr. Shoemaker, is he back from his vacation? I don't know. Don't you think he saw his own hands? I think so. Maybe. But it doesn't make sense. Anyways, I need your help with the case. Already on it. I suspect there are only 
a few places that um, just painting might end up, you know? And that can be charted by a diffusion of map that can be used on tracking this probability of the route that this painting has been traveled. Oh, slow down. Okay, here's what I'm trying to say. Regular car, passenger's car, can go everywhere, right? From this city to another city. But not trucks, you see? Trucks, especially the, the ones that deliver goods, they have their own routes. Let's say they can only go from city A to city B by only this route, not using other ways, different from regular cars. So if this truck is carrying somehow something related to nuclear, it must, it must be more complicated than ever. Now, if somehow we can track the truck that carries the Pissarra painting, then using the track that we can find from the map, then it could be easier for us to track it. I see. The following probability can be used to represent matrix A. Now consider that the painting originates in city 1. By using the 1 times 5 matrix to represent this fact placing A1 in the position for city 1 and zeros elsewhere. If you multiply matrix B times matrix A in that order, you will obtain another 1 times 5 matrix containing the probabilities associated with the painting's next location. It should be no surprise that the location in, is in city 2 since the graph indicates that there are 100% chance that the location of the next city after city 1 is city 2. Each time you multiply this answer matrix and the original probability matrix A, you will obtain the probabilities associated with the next move. If you continue this process indefinitely, the probabilities will reach a steady state matrix, which gives the probability for each of cities 1 through cities 5 of the location of the stolen painting over time. I figured out that Miss Hellman's sister made several calls to have uh, investigators specializing the stolen artwork, Peter Tucci. Good work! And I have heard that she has arrived. Have a seat. Uh, Ms. Helman, we were just discussing about Mr. B Mr. Ronald Peter, sorry. Do you know anything about him? I know nothing about this guy or how he ended up dead. I haven't done anything. What about Mr. Peter Tucci? That was over two years ago. Right around in the time that courts decided against you. Look, I swear, I haven't done anything. I told you. All right, Ms. Helman, you may leave the room. Thank you for your information. What do you guys think? Well, I think she thought about it. She gave a good long thought. I don't think she did. Um, she didn't make any real efforts to cover her tracks either. Um, now we're back to the owner, Shoemaker, and the insurance scam as well. It's a nice theory. Uh, but so far, I can't find paper trail between, between Shoemaker and our thief. Really? I mean, there's nothing. Katie's gotta be somewhere, right? The terrorists looted hundreds of thousands of artworks. I mean, nearly a fifth of all European art at the time. Yeah, yeah. But there are still a lot of them out there. Museums, collectors, dealers, all of that kind. It's just appealing. appealing. trade. But look, I'm starting to see a pattern here. The heaviest flow of art goes in the same direction and goes along with these kind of networks. Yeah, I'm starting to recognize it too. I think I figured out why you haven't found that sorrow. Look, 
using a computer program that analyzes a fine art drawing um, using an enchanted photograph, which is called uh, Amita. What's that? Crackler. Crackler. Yes, Crackler. You know, it's 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 a a, a way to crack a mystery um, from pattern that gives us idea where and when does the work was done and what was it painted why was it painted what was the story behind it and stuff like that a painter in 15th century Florence used a different material than a painter in 17th century all of that I can crack using that technique now using that technique I could also apply on using the Pissarro what materials and stuff like that you know you know it's fancy a word for a crap mm -hmm. mm. you said there were two criteria oh yeah 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 there were two there were two and the the second criteria is to look at the visual style of the artist the brush strokes and the fingerprints you know fingerprints uh-huh uh -huh. yeah 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 as a term yes but it's somehow a signature with paintings, I use curvilet analysis. Mm -hmm. We can measure the outlines, we can measure the depth of the artist's brush, 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 brush strokes. Brush, brush strokes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was thinking about <laughs> swimming, you know? Okay. Yeah. It's been a long time for me having swim, you know? But brush strokes, by the way, giving us mathematical expression of the artist's unique signature, which we can use to crack the code also in the Pissarro. I ran both analysis and compared to the other Pissarro in, from the museums around the world. And somehow I found different. Is, this isn't a Pissarro. The Pissarro forgery is not possible. Well, our math consultant did an extensive analysis materials from a photograph with the computer's enhancement. Oh, I'm sorry, but you must be mistaken. This painting underwent an extensive authentication process when it arrived here and I have to go. Then what about a switch? What if someone changed the painting since the authentication? How? When? And why? I don't believe any of this. I think you should go now. So you were responsible for the Pissarro cleaning on 3rd of June? You also performed the authentication on the Pissarro when it first arrived. Are you certain that the painting you cleaned on June 3rd is the same on when you authenticated 18 months ago? I have been with me for 20 years. I trust his judgment completely. And the painting here with this place is the most important piece of ever displayed. Also, I'm certain that the painting was the same as the one that I examined a year and a half ago. But when was the photograph of the Pissarro taken? <coughs> I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? This particular photograph was furnished by the owner. Peyton Shoemaker gave you the photograph? Yes, yes she did. What is this? You're telling me that my painting is a forgery based on an analysis from the photograph? That's insane! Based on our researchers, yes, that can be there. Okay. But the helmets are behind us, aren't they? They create I mean, some sleazy marks for like you guys. Look at the photograph and say that like Pissarro is a fake. Well, they think that they're going to get something out of this. Then they are wrong. That's a really interesting theory. But the math expert <coughs> works for us. Why would I sell my own painting if it is fake? Why would I? Why would the helmet be spoke for for years to get it back? See, this makes no sense. I didn't sell my own painting. He's done a really good job by killing Wheeler, the witness. Maybe our second witness. We find him, and we find the killer. Yeah, it's going to be right. Excuse me, guys. Alright. Hey, guys, by the way, I've compared my analysis of the forged painting of Pissarro with the FBI database and um, I can find that 
it matches 89.9% okay. and the suspect person is named, the artist is named Gustav Solberg. So where is he? Well, based on my research, he died on 1948. 1948, yes. And the Hungarian police, uh, they found five forged paintings in his gallery. Look. See? And... Um, yes, he died in 1948. So the real Pizarro has been sitting in a Hungarian police vault for 16 years, and the lost Pizarro, it's... Yes, here the real Pizarro has been sitting in a Hungarian police vault for 16 years, and they packed the lost Pizarro into a crate along with the other forgeries. Um, so, yeah. Miss Hoffman's father must have paid Solberg to pay the forgery and then gave him the original for safety there. You can means, say that. Well, can you realize it? That means that shoemakers are probably telling the truth. Hmm. Mm. Here's Alan. The real Pissarro has been found. I must have made a mistake. So you knew that Pissarro was a fake with the whole time. You're not just thinking, talking about paintings. A man is dead. You were paid to lie to us, Alan. He said it would ruin us. But already announced the acquisition. It's one thing that display a painting that's suspected of being cherished, looted art. But the exhibit of forgery? Who said it would ruin you? Excuse me. Alan gave you up for us. I spent my life with it. <coughs> to the reputation of this movie, killing a man is not going to do much for their reputation. You know how the painting was a forgery? He tried to like mail you. Do you know how they put it is for a museum like ours to actually acquire a Pizarro? No, but you didn't actually acquire a Pizarro, did you? Only the tour next month to have exposed you. I thought if the painting had just has had just disappeared, all be the what would be the harm? Shoemaker had his insurance, and the museum would have had his future. Yeah, well, it's not much in future now, is it? Which is Amita.